sister, dear sister, I cannot tell the world. Your tears and your sorrow, they trouble me so. But I must be going for here, I cannot stand. I am going in defense of our own native land. Okay, friends and neighbors, that was just a brief demonstration of how I would play a really old song called Bright Sunny South if I was going to play it overhand or claw hammer style, down picking. I typically play that piece uh, two finger style. Uh, just seems to roll off the fingers a little easier if I two finger pick it. For you it might be easier if you down pick it, if you play it overhand. So I'll show you both ways. Um, for those of you who want to see the tablature for this tune, a link will appear in this upper left hand corner here that will take you to patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks for a very modest monthly contribution. You get the tab for this and every other song that you see me teach here. Uh, so the visual rundown I'll just give you, it's, uh, the tuning is G, D, G, C, D. I have a little electric tuner here I can flip on. I can tell you my exact tuning. I always drop tune, down tune. So my exact tuning is F, C, F, A sharp, C. So I'm just dropped two full frets, two frets down from G, D, G, C, D. That should be enough of that. Um, a lot of tunes in this tuning, you're going to uh, hold a finger down either on, on, the, on the second fret somewhere, either on the second string or the third string. So if you were to hold the third string down at the second fret, it gives you this little chord. More often than not, you're going to hold the second string down at the second fret. Give you this really neat minor chord, and so hence they call this tuning G minor or Mountain Minor. They have all kinds of different names for it, but it's G minor tuning typically. So this tune is no different. You're going to hold this finger down mostly. That's going to kind of be your home base for this, and then you're going to be using your middle finger a lot on the bass string. So we'll start from there. A tune starts off on the bass string, and I like to I sing these things out. I call it the songster method. So the way that I learn this stuff is not by tablature, but by singing it. So if I can hear the words to the song, if I can preferably hear a human being singing the song face to face, I'll have that tune in my head and I can use the words to sing it on the banjo on the fingerboard. It's very simple once, you, once it clicks in your head. So if I wanted to get the words, In the bright sunny south, Already, right off the bat, I know I started out singing that at the lower end of my vocal register. Because I tune the banjo to my voice, is another key part of the songster method that I teach. Because I've tuned this instrument to my voice, I know that the lower end of the banjo's register is, matches the lower end of my register. So if I want to get in the bright sunny south, I know I'm starting out on the open bass string. Because it's already pretty darn low, so sure enough. And then I'm just, it's, it's a matter of working it out from there visually with the fret. So in the so I know I got to come up from there that's the first place that sounds sweet the third fret baby it's the songster method so in, um, in the bright sunny south it's just a matter of singing out the words on the banjo using the strings so um, I start off on um, holding down that second string at the second fret I play the bass string open, then I'm going to note the bass string at the third fret. Then I'm going to play the third string open. Then I'm going to quickly pluck off on the third string at the second fret and quickly come down and play the bass string at the third again. So I get that. And that gives me, and the bright sunny. How do I get south? I hit that third string open again. South, in peace and content. 
peace and content all the days of my boyhood. All I'm doing is I walked it up to the second string, second fret. All the days of my boyhood I scarcely have spent from the deep flowing spring to the broad running stream. We knew because we walked it down on our throat, we knew we were going to walk it down on the strings from the broad running stream. Ever dear to my memory and sweet in my dreams. And we end it on that little the chord I showed you that was home bass. So really all you're doing with your left hand is... That's it. You're just doing sort of three little positions there with your left hand. Really, the tricky stuff is with your right hand there. Okay, I think that's enough for this piece. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. I hope you'll hit the subscribe button so you'll be a, a, a subscriber here, a regular member, and you'll see uh, the next video that comes out. And best of all, I hope you'll click on this, this link over here, take you to the Patreon group, sign up there. We've got well over a thousand members. You get access to our private Discord server. You get access to our members-only Facebook group. Uh, we have a lot of fun in there. It's, it's getting a little bit out of hand, frankly. It's out of my hands at this point. Uh, okay, everybody, thank you for looking.